Massive layoffs. Should you worry? So I know this has been on the mind of a lot of people who are planning to come for their masters or for their bachelors abroad or whatever. There recently was a dark time where lots of layoffs were happening at several companies, almost all the companies. People were being laid off one after another and uh, hundreds or even thousands of people lost their jobs because of this. So we are going to try and understand layoffs and why they happen during this time of the year and what you can do to be safe from them and what kind of people it impacted. The layoffs that happened in the year of 2022 and 2023, the reason behind is overestimation of how well the businesses were doing. Back during COVID, the businesses were booming. Alright, everyone's graph was going up, the revenue was going up, so all the companies started mass hiring. Um, especially if you see Amazon, Amazon hired loads of people, loads of engineers at um, really good compensation and also like they gave them really easy interviews to crack. So you might have seen a surge in the amount of people that Amazon hired, especially in the US. That was a great time for all the students because you got a great job without putting in a lot of effort, right? Turns out the companies were very, very wrong. They did not see the progress that they were anticipating during COVID to continue and thus they saw, okay, well, all the board, mem board members are not seeing the kind of returns that they were expecting through the next years. So the only option left for us is to fire people. How else will we save the compensations that we are giving to these employees when we don't have work for them or we are not getting there till the projected revenue because the investors on the, or the board members want their share, right? They don't want the company to make less money. So you got to remove people. This resulted in a domino sequence of one company laying off after another and then another and another and another and thousands of people lost their jobs. This is why basically the layoffs happened in a nutshell. Some companies were definitely generous with how they were handling layoffs because many of the big companies, they gave really good severance packages. That is, these companies paid like five months of salaries to employees while they were laying them off. And on top of that, they gave them medical insurance for a few months and they also kept employees on the payroll. By payroll, what I mean is, let's say I am a company. I blocked you out of your access to the work laptop on January 1st, but I'm keeping you on payroll till 1st of March. So you're still on the company's payroll till March 1st. And for many OPT students, that turned out to be really helpful because they had an extra two months to search for jobs while still being legal here, if that makes sense. Definitely, the people on H1B were also impacted really horribly. It was a shit show because they had a 60 day counter running on the clock and uh, it was really get difficult to get jobs back then because every other company was laying off so the market is bad but there are obviously certain things that you can do that will allow you to stay even after the 60 day gap that is shifting to a b1 visa from an h1b that allows you to stay more than 60 days and then you can search for the job but we can discuss these technicalities in one of the upcoming videos where we can talk about how different Students can deal with these kind of things like um, being laid off on H1B visa, being laid off on OPT, STEM OPT, what can you do, what are the technicalities behind it. But let's just try to understand who are the people who were impacted the most during this uh, era. Lots of people in senior positions were especially impacted, like engineering managers, directors and, st and people like that because they are paid a lot of money. They have really high compensations. Many companies like this, especially the big ones, they are paying directors, managers like 300K, 400K, 500K, name the price, depends on which level you are on, but you get the idea, right? So I had many of my friends reaching the company the next day, discovering that they were not laid off, thankfully, but their managers got laid off. So they did not have anyone to guide them the very next day but yeah obviously the deorg happened they got assigned a new manager and all of that but you get my point right so the higher the position that you have um, there's a good probability that that company might lay you off because you're being paid highly so it just frees up a lot of compensation and revenue for them then there was a lot of deduplication of employees let's say i have three directors who are managing five teams now one of those directors can be removed because two directors can also somewhat 
manage five teams, right? Why do you need three directors for that? So again, one of the directors got removed just because it turned out that the role was was a duplicate and they could just deduplicate it and the people remaining could handle it. Now, let's say you are in a team which is working on the next big thing. I would definitely be wary of such teams. The reason behind is, let's say I am not generating any revenue for the business, but I, my entire team is working on the promise that we are creating a product that will generate revenue for the business because that's the end goal of any, co any corporate company. They all want to make more money. So if my team is not generating revenue, it's fair that during layoffs, some of my employees could be impacted, right? So let's say I have seen several instances where the entire team got dissolved in a single day just because that product was not generating revenue and they could not lo no longer invest in something that was working on the promise of bringing revenue later on. You get the point, right? So I'd be very if a team says we are building the next big thing and we would like you to join us. Obviously, if they're already making revenue, that's great. I mean, they're just upgrading the things, right? You're just maintaining the systems and you're like going to the next level. But if they say that, okay, we are building something from scratch altogether, then that could be a little bit risky, all I'm trying to say. Not saying that you should turn down that opportunity because you might get to learn a lot from it, but just saying that it could be a little risky. Now, let's say that you were a regular employee doing your job well, were a high performer, but still you got impacted. In these cases, you cannot do anything because the VPs might have a quota, let's say, remove 10% of the people. And then they, you just got laid off because of that. That was just quota doing its thing, man. So don't worry about it. Uh, it can happen to anyone. Um, yeah, anyone can be impacted even if you're a high performer. But the chances of it become a little low. But still, if you have to meet the quota, you got to meet the quota. Like we discussed performance in the previous point, it could also be one of the reasons. For example, let's say I have two junior engineers on the team. Let's say one of them is not performing that well. And I receive something like um, you got to remove one of the engineers. Then I will look at both of the engineers feedback and the one who is not performing that well could be impacted. Even though maybe let's say the other person performing at 100, the other, uh, the other person is performing at a 98 level. But if there's a quota, then they might want to match it. Lots of people who are graduating also lost their jobs. So let's say people were graduating in December. They had offers starting from January. They got their offers revoked. So now they were stranded with no job in their hand. So that was a dangerous position. And there were also some students who got their job offers pushed further on, like let's say you were about to be offered full-time from January, they were offered full-time from May instead. Now they still were left squirming to find new jobs because you have this three-month gap where you were planning to begin working but you did not, so your OPT clock is ticking and now you need to look for new jobs. So in this case, many people did volunteering for two, three months, then moved on to the new jobs. You can well do that, but still it was a, a very difficult scenario, even in that case. Let me give you a small example about my team, uh, which will strengthen one of my points. My team generates a lot of revenue through our product and uh, none of our team members were even touched during layoffs. So that was like a blessing. Um, I would really like to thank all my uh, my director, my manager and everyone who were involved in the process and uh, they did not let anything happen to any of the engineers in my team. Um, part of the reason is definitely the leaders caring for you and also because the product was bringing a lot of profit and potential to the entire organization, right? So just then, just strengthens one of my points that um, products that are generating a lot of revenue will have you sitting there comfortably in a stable job. Now layoffs impacted a lot of people, but the people who came out on the top, even after being laid off are the people who had previous work experience. The more work experience you have, the easier it is to get jobs because companies are getting a highly skilled employee and they can lowball you, especially in this scenario when the market is bad and then students or people are desperate for jobs. I can, let's say you were supposed to be given like 100K. Now I give you 75K and you'd still accept it because you're on a visa and I can pretty well, pretty much lowball you even if you have three or four years of experience because you are desperate for the job. Now, 
Freshers were struggling a lot be because people who had work experience were being hired at a lower compensation. They were ready to work at a lower compensation than expected. And thus, companies were getting highly skilled employees at low rates. So that was a win-win for the students as well as they didn't have to leave for their home countries and for the companies because they were getting good employees at cheap cost. Now, we have already discussed all the points, um, all the kinds of people that could be impacted during layoffs, um, what can prevent you from having a layoff, or some things to keep in mind. Obviously, nothing is sure shot, right? Anybody, anybody can be laid off. We see that uh, if the company has to meet the quota, they will randomly lay, lay people off too, because that's what they will have to go through. All we can do is do things that are under our control, control our performance, control the teams that we are joining for full time. Sometimes we may, we may not have options and I understand that, but still we can keep these things in our mind, right? And at the end of the day, should you still come for your masters, your bachelors abroad, even though so many layoffs happen? Yes, yes, guys, it is a risk, all right? Everyone is taking a risk. Even I could have been laid off, someone else could have been laid off, but we all took a risk, we are here. You also have to take the risk and be here. Maybe you get a marvelous job, the company really cares about you, the team really cares about you, you get good compensation and you build a really nice life here. But there's also the possibility that some people might get laid off and it always happens, right? Someone will be there who'll be a little unlucky. Nothing we can do about it. But guys, you are coming here to build your careers. So I will definitely suggest you to come. There are always risks associated with everything. No job is stable. Anyone can get laid off. Even if you start a business, it can go haywire and it could, it could dip suddenly. So anything can happen in life, right? You can't really predict anything. So I'll just say, take the leap of faith, come here. Do not worry about layoffs. They do happen sometimes, but there's nothing we can do. It's just bad market. When the market improves, I'm sure many students will be getting really good jobs. So that is something to keep in mind and not something to be afraid of. So just take the leap of faith, guys. Uh, come for your masters, come for your bachelors, do not worry about these things. Take care of the things that are under your control, your interview preparation, um, how skilled you are, how much experience you have, how much technical knowledge you have about your field and you will do just fine. So thank you so much for watching guys. Um, this was my video about layoffs. I hope you enjoyed it and please leave a like and comment on the channel. That really helps. Thank you so much.